the milestones of development. These present valuable means of assessment, but also some pitfalls for the unwary. It's usual to divide the tests into gross motor, fine motor, vision, hearing and speech, and social. The age at which a child passes a particular milestone gives an indication of progress, but the target ages on different assessment scales vary considerably. It's worth remembering that the Denver scale gives a much wider age range for individual skills, and it includes the percentage of those who achieve a skill at a particular age. Don't be trapped into thinking that failure to achieve a particular milestone has dire consequences. Most children won't give an adequate response to more than two-thirds of the tests anyway, and a single examination can be untrustworthy. The way to assess a baby is to take a history from her mother and then to perform a physical examination, including the height, weight and head circumference. Oh. Anna is one month old and I'm playing imitation games with her. Watch me, baby. You do that. A vast amount has been written about neonatal assessment and I dare say it's very wise, but I could hint at unmeasurable milestones. So I'm going to move on to Anna at two months. They will do it back to you. Say it again. Oh. You can see that her eyes follow me when I move. That's convincing. Now, if I the head of the two-month baby is poorly supported, though Anna is better than many, but her head lags as I gently pull her up. Notice her typically rounded back. Next, I'm going to look at her in ventral suspension. Her head should be in line with her body and the hips semi-extended. She raised her feet up 